Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the dock and menu bar settings on your macOS device. This will allow you to change their appearance and also the way that they behave on your Mac. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so to adjust these settings, what we need to do is go into System Preferences, or on macOS Ventura, it's now called System Settings. And then what you need to do is navigate to the section that says Dock and Menu Bar. Now, if you're running macOS Ventura, um, all the items will be on the left, if, but if you're on Monterey or older, it will look like this, and you'll find it around here. Alright, so when you click on that, it'll open a page similar to this. Now... There's a number of different options here, so I'll try and run you through um, each one step by step. And on the first part, which says Dock and Menu Bar, it'll open a page like this. So it will have the top section ded dedicated to the dock, which is most of the settings here. And then underneath, it will have the Menu Bar settings as well. So we'll start with the dock. So a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory. You've got um, the size of the dock, which can be adjusted there like that. Or you can also adjust it um, with this little line here. If you hover over it, you'll see your mouse converts into two little arrows. And you can change the size like that. So put it back to around there. You can also um, adjust whether magnification turns on. So when you hover over it, whether it magnifies it. So if I turn that on, you'll see what happens here. So when I hover over the um, dock, it will magnify it. Um, which is pretty cool in some cases. And you can adjust how much it actually magnifies uh, the dock. So we can turn it down a little bit just to adjust how much it actually does it. We can also change the position on the screen. So left, bottom, which is default or right. Now we can also change the way that windows are minimized. So we can decide whether it's the genie effect, which is what the default is. So if I minimize Safari, You'll see it minimizes like that. Um, or if we go back into system preferences, um, we can choose to minimize using a scale effect, which uh, if we minimize, looks a bit more like that, which is sort of like um, how Windows manages uh, minimizing. So if you want to use the scale effect, you can do that there. We'll just close out of Safari here. All right, and then you've got some other options here, such as Automatically hiding and showing the dock, uh, animate opening ap application. So that's where it bounces. If you turn that off, it'll just click it and not um, show any sort of bouncing. Um, and then, yeah, you can change some other settings here. If you click to minimize windows into the application icon, when you minimize it, it will minimize into the application icon itself rather than going uh, next to the bin there. So. Um, you can decide whether you want that. And then you've got um, all these other options here. So you can uh, customize this to your liking. And then you've also got the menu bar here um, where you can decide whether it automatically hides and shows on the desktop. So if I turn that on, on the desktop, it'll automatically hide and show. So you have to bring the mouse up to bring it up. Um, or whether when apps are in full screen, it automatically hides. So if I put Safari to full screen, you'll see that it hides the menu bar there and I have to go up to the top to access it. So you can adjust whether you want those like that. So that's all of the dock and menu bar settings there, but also under the same um, sort of category on system settings, you've also got some other options to adjust the control center, other modules and menu bar only. So we can have a look here and you can see that these are just all the different things that you can decide to show in your um, control center on your Mac. Um, so this was introduced on Mac OS Big Sur. So Big Sur, Monterey and Ventura will have these settings. So you can decide whether uh, Wi-Fi shows in the control center. Um, so... Um, it says, oh, Wi-Fi is always available in the control center, but you can decide whether it shows on the menu bar. So when I turn that on and off, you'll see 
it removes it from up the top there when I turn it off. And that's the same with a lot of these settings. So Bluetooth is always available. You can decide whether to show it in the menu bar. Same with AirDrop. Focus um, is also always available in the control center, but you can decide whether, whether you want to show it in the menu bar. So you can tick this on, but maybe just only when it's active. So only when you turn do not disturb on will it show, or you can just say always and it will always be up there. So that's your focus settings. Same with screen mirroring, only when active, um, you can decide that. So a lot of these settings are quite similar. Display, um, when active, sound, and also now playing. So all of these things are always available in the control center, but it just adjusts whether it's available on the menu bar. So um, you can tinker around with these settings and adjust them to your liking, um, but that's pretty straightforward, that menu. Other modules. Uh, accessibility shortcuts you can decide whether you want to show it in the menu bar which it brings it up here or you can also show it in the control center so I've turned that on there and you'll see it's now brought it up in the control center and if I click on it it will now open out the accessibility shortcuts in there so that's pretty handy and fast user switching I've got that always available in the menu bar but I can also show it in the control center and it comes up down there Finally, we've got some menu bar only items. So we can uh, decide the clock. So um, you can decide whether it shows the date always, never, or when space allows. So if I turn the date off, it'll only show the uh, time and the day of the week there. And then you can also turn off showing the day of the week. And then you've got uh, time options like analog, which is, switches it to an analog clock there. Uh, 24 hour time. Um, turn that off there um we've got the other things as well like flash time separators display the time with seconds you can also bring that up and then you can also decide whether you announce the time at a certain t uh, time of day and then you can also customize the voice uh using the system voice there we can have a listen here hello my name is karen i am an australian english voice and there you go so depending on what setting you've chosen um you can change uh, what display is there and finally we've got spotlight search whether you show it in the menu bar or not that's the only option there Siri menu bar on or off and also time machine menu bar on or off so there's a lot of empty space in these menus but they're pretty simple just to decide whether they're on or off it's very simple settings to adjust here so yeah that's the process on how to adjust the dock and menu bar settings and then also some further settings for the menu bar and control center. So I've sort of just combined that all into one video. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and gave you a good insight about how you can change these settings. Um, there's a lot of options here, so it allows for some great customization of your Mac to personalize it to suit your needs. Let me know in the comments below how you went with this process and what your favorite settings are for the dock and menu bar. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below and also any video suggestions for me, you can leave them down there as well. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.